Hey! Hello, hello! Hopefully our signal holds out good and left's better than this morning because I have a huge surprise to show everyone. I'll give you a few minutes to pop on if you would like to see my surprise. Because I'm way excited about my surprise. Hey Barb! Hey Nicole! Hey guys! Okay, so now that some of you are popping on, we have creamy lipsticks in a tube coming. Hey Karen! Creamy lipsticks are coming in a tube. We used to have them in the pans. The pans are going away. Hey Carrie! Oh, thank you girl. Hey Joanna! Um, creamy lipsticks are coming out in a tube and they're coming on Friday. Ah, Friday. Okay. So I have, I happen to have all eight of the colors that are coming out and I'm going to show them to you guys. Swatch them for you guys. So pray for a good signal to hold up for us. So there are five colors that are in the power pout category and those are going to be an opaque coverage, um, lipstick. And then there are three colors that are in the take a hint category and those are going to be like a um, like a sheer wash of color. All of them are super creamy. They feel like chapstick, you guys. It feels like putting on chapstick, but you have this super long color wear with them, which I love, okay? So without further ado, I've been trying them on today and um, having fun with them and so I wanted to show you guys the colors. So this is number 100 which is not telling and this is going to be the most nude color. I swear my lips are like almost stained from the colors. But um, this is going to be the most nude color not telling. And this is number 100, and this is a power pout, so it's one of the opaque colors. I love this one. This one is going to be like a daily wear type thing. Like, I want to, I find myself wanting to take them with me in my purse and just keep reapplying. Not because I need the color, but because I love how moisturizing and creamy they are. So, number 100, not telling. All right, ready? Let's move on. I've got my make-off wipe here. And hopefully I don't make a big mess. Okay, number 101, which is down and flirty. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Ray. So this one's kind of got a little bit of, um, I want to call it like a, like a bronzy spice color to it. So if you like the, I went a little outside of the line, sorry. If you like those, um, spice colored lipsticks, this is the one for you. Number 101, down and flirty. All right. Isn't that pretty? Um, Tanya, it is a combination of the fact that um, I have, I actually have pretty dark lips, um, naturally, but I've been putting these lipsticks on all day, and I swear I have residue on my um, lips still, but I do have pretty dark lips to start with, so, okay. Number 102, Girls' Night Pout. For those of you that like the bright pinks, this is all you. And I don't usually like lean towards bright colors like this, but Holy crap, I'm loving this color. 
Like I could see myself actually wearing this color like in real life and not just for show. I like it a lot. All right, that is number 102, Girls' Night Pout. All right, are you ready for some reds? Let's do some reds. It's that time. It is time for reds. Oh, okay, I told you I'd make a hot mess out of my face. Hey, Laurie! Okay, so this is number 103. Red Hot, or Haute. It's spelled um, like Haute, as in like Haute Couture. This is going to be like your more um, warm or orangey red. Thank you, Christina. Okay. Red Hot or Haute. Haute spelled as in Haute Couture. Like I say, this is your more orangey or warm red. That's more my type of a red color. And I love it. And red is not normally my thing. So, there's your red hot. hot. I don't know how they meant to say it. Anyway, spelled like hot culture. Alright, I'm getting a new wipey out, sorry. Because the other one was a hot mess. I have been playing with these lipsticks so much today that um, I think I've gone through like five of these wipes already. Oh, thank you, Becca. So, okay, so that was like your orangey red, red hot. And then number 104 is going to be Paint the Town, which is going to be like your blue red or your cool red, your cool tone red. We do. We need Michelle to like go through and like pronounce them for us. I think at Palooza she pronounced it red hot. Um, but like I said, it's spelled like hot as in hot culture. So this one is paint the town. Oh, is it frozen, Laurie? Dang. Shoot up if you can see me. Shoot some hearts. Um, this is going to be your more blue, cool red. Okay. I really like that one too. I really think you can't go wrong with these colors. Like every single one of these colors are fabulous and that's not something I say about a lip line very often. I mean obviously, obviously colors are fabulous for everybody, but um, or different colors are fabulous for everybody in a lip line. It's not very often that I look at a lip line and I'm like I could wear every single one of those colors and like it on myself. And that's how I feel about this particular lip line. And like I say, they have this amazing creamy texture that's like chapstick. So you wanna keep reapplying it just because of how it feels on your lips. But you don't need to because the ones that I have played with and, um, and worn for a longer period of time um not only do they have amazing color payoff but they do have pretty long lasting color especially for a lipstick so these lipsticks are like a they're like a winner all around okay so now we're going to be moving on to the take a hint line of lipsticks and the first one is going to be number let me find it 200 which is femme Yes, Femme Fire. Okay, so these are like, let me say you're more, I'm trying to get everything off my lips, so you can see. These are your more sheer washes of color. So more of a sheer color, but you still get that nice tint to your lips and that nice feel of 
a nice moisture to your lips because they are moisturizing. And did I mention they're paraben free? Which is awesome. See, I'm making a hot mess. Anyway, this one is like a like a sheer spice color, I want to say. A sheer bronzy spice color. Oh, thank you. My kids and my husband got me that necklace, Christina. Thank you. So this one is Femme Fire. Really pretty. Um, this one, I would say, like, if you are one of those people that is um, wanting to try out um, brighter colors or even, like, dive into reds, but you're not quite there yet, not quite ready for that, I would start with Femme Fire because it's, like, a muted spice red color so if you're not quite ready for the bright color on your lips game femfire is the color for you to start with it's fabulous it's a great starting point and to ease into that um i know my husband nags me all the time to wear a red lipstick and it's just not what i lean towards all the time but I'm gonna try <laughs> and I really like these reds so it is it's a great color for fall Becca you're so right I love this color for fall okay so number one oh no 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 sorry we're on the 200s um, number 201 is prim and proper also a take a hint color so a sheer wash and this is gonna be more of like a mauve sheer mauve wash of color I know I love them all you're right Liz I, I love them all so this is more um, like a sheer mauve sheer pink sheer in that color family <laughs> Um, color um, also a good ease into it color um, like I say if you're wanting to get into reds or brights or whatever but you're especially reds and you're not really sure you're ready for that also this is another good color to help you ease into that and that's 201 um, prim and proper I love this color I love them all I can't say that enough I love them all <laughs> okay on to our last one, you guys. You ready? And for those of you who love a good plum color, you better be ready for this, okay? Because here's your color. This is number 202 Plum Luck. You can see I nicked the tip of mine, but there's the color. There it is on, a sheer plum color. So the sheer colors like make these super wearable. So if you're afraid, like if you're afraid of lip color, the sheer ones are a great way to get into it. But all of these colors are great and so wearable and I'm so excited about them. Oh, you know what? Yes, this is Plum Luck. I love plum too. Um, yeah, Plum Luck. I really like that. I didn't think I would like it, and I really like it. That's actually one of the colors that I got into my swag bag was Plum Luck, and I kind of, like, twisted it up, and I was like, oh, they gave me a purple. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, like, I tried it, and I was like, oh, hell yes, that looks good on me. Oh, good. So, try it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to show you guys, too, the packaging. So, it's these really nice um, metal tubes, metallic tubes. And you can see the limelight L right there. And we've got the um, quilted pattern, our kind of signature quilted pattern right there on the tube. And there's really nice and luxe, a nice luxe looking tube. 
that you can be proud to carry around with you. Pull out of your purse. You got plum on the quiz. I got um, not telling on the quiz because I'm a neutral girl, but I really like all of these. Um, they're all really amazing. And so, um, but yeah, look at that. You could totally be so proud to carry that around in your purse. And, and like I say, I find myself wanting to. I want to carry it in my purse and I want to apply it like stinking lipstick because it's so moisturizing. Um, but like I say, I don't need to because, you know, the color's still there, but I just like the way it feels on my lips. So super moisturizing, super creamy, um, good, good, good long lasting color. Um, not necessarily as long as like an ELC, um, an enduring lip color or something like that. I mean, it's still a lipstick. Um, if you want it to last longer, you can, um, apply it, blot it, apply some more, blot it, whatever. Um, but it does have a really good long lasting color for a lipstick. Um, which I think is fabulous and like I say it feels amazing on your lips and who doesn't need that Jessica hey girl how's it going so okay so that's all the colors like I say they are available on Friday Friday we are so excited um, eight colors eight extremely gorgeous colors and I'll post pictures of them for you guys too because um that way you can take a good look at them if you want to and kind of decide what you want. And um, like somebody mentioned, I can't remember who in the comments, somebody said, somebody mentioned the quiz. Anyway, oh, here it is. Megan, Megan mentioned the quiz. Um, there is a quiz out there too to kind of like find your lipstick personality, your color based on your personality. It's kind of a fun thing. Um, and so I'll throw that up for you guys as well. Um, but these colors, you guys, and the way they feel on your lip, like, I'm not a lipstick girl. I'm going to go ahead and admit that right now. I'm more of a gloss girl. Really fell in love with the Enduring Lip Colors um, when I did want color on my lips. But these lipsticks, um, I don't really like lipstick, and I love these. These are going to be my everyday go-to. I can... And, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not telling you that just because I, I uh, want you to think that. Um, I am telling you that because I am, I am in love with these colors. In love with these colors and with the way they feel on my lips. Like, this is going to be my new lip go-to. And, yeah, for me to say that about a lipstick is kind of, kind of a lot. Mm-hmm. So, and all of these colors. All of them. All right. Hey, Cassie. All right. I think that's it. And I will... Oh, when do the new catalogs come out? You know what? I don't know. Sometime this fall. So, anyway. Love you guys. I will talk to you later.